Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Citic Alex, and we all know just how busted Spidey can be with a CTP of energy. We've documented this on my channel and other channels. He's an absolute monster, and we also know he can do really, really well with a mighty destruction that's also been documented at length on different channels. He's honestly a beast, and when it comes to Spider-Man, this new Spider-Man, it's actually really difficult to choose a CTP and I've gotten so many questions about it and I still don't have a definitive answer of which is the best to give to him because there's different ways of looking at it. You can say Spider-Man's one of the best characters in the game now, so maybe you don't give him the max build because you can save that for characters that need it more. Or on the flip side, he is one of the best characters in the game, so you should build him as, as well as you can. Dump as many resources into him as possible, mighty or brilliant CTP, you know, 15 plus Odin's blessings really, you know, gas him up. Maybe even build him into a hybrid character with a mighty or a brilliant destruction or a greed or something like that, so he can do PVE and PVP. But what if I told you that today we're going to be doing sort of the opposite of that with the CTP equip uh, or unequip discount on? It's 50% off to move around CTPs, and now is a great time, an excellent time to move CTPs off of characters that you're not really using anymore. Like let's say the CTP of energy on my Psylocke or move around mighty CTPs or brilliant CTPs because those have an even higher price tag for moving around. As you can see here, this brilliant normally costs, I think, um, what? Yeah, 1500 crystals as much as a, a Doom uniform on discount. So now it's down to 750. So it's a great time to move them around. But what if instead of doing that, you built the ultimate obelisk for Spider-Man? So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today how to do. And this is also going to double as a general guide for how I roll and how I try to make new obelisks so that I can use them for character testing beforehand. And I'm actually going to go ahead and unequip this CTP of energy because I know how good Spider-Man is with the CTP of energy. I actually want to go back and see how good he is with an obelisk. And then, of course, we're going to try him out with some new things like a mighty destruction. So, yeah, even if you aren't looking to build Spider-Man specifically, you should continue watching this video because this will give you tips on how to analyze your obelisks in your inventory that you have and really pick and choose which ones you're going to be using as your bases to re-roll for, you know, to turn into, into mythic ones, into extreme obelisks so that you can use for different characters. And that doesn't even apply to Spidey. This applies to any and all characters. And the great thing about Spider-Man that the conversation starts is PvE and PvP. So really, when you have a character like Spider-Man who can be used for both PvE and PvP, the immediate thing that you want to look for is not ignore dodge or crit damage, but actually guard break immunity obelisks. And I actually locked three of these here so we can start with. You always want to start with an obelisk that has the orange stat that you're looking for to have on the character. So basically, to give you a summary, I think the only three orange stat obelisks that you should be re-rolling up to extreme for Spider-Man would be guard break immunity is my first choice. Then there's like a long gap. And then the second would be ignore dodge. That would be my second option. Uh, and then the third option would probably be crit damage. Now, it's interesting I say crit damage because when you look at this uniform, he's way over capped on crit damage. So I'm like, Alex, what are you, you're, you're, well, he's actually not way over capped, but I just, I just took off his CTP of energy, right? So without an obelisk, he's already capped on crit damage. So why would you roll an obelisk with crit damage? Well, this uniform, it will give you the flexibility of being able to use either uniform if you have both of them. If you don't have both of them, then that may not be an issue for you. But yeah, my basic one, two, three, first Spider-Man would be guard break immunity, then ignore dodge, then crit damage. And that's basically it. I could say, or you could argue that a fourth might be max HP, but generally speaking, you're not gonna want max HP on an obelisk unless it also has guard break immunity because those things go hand in hand for PVP. So rather than rolling up a max HP obelisk and hoping, you know, fingers crossed, that it's going to roll with ignore dodge as a secondary stat, rather than doing that and risking wasting the obelisks because you have to waste the fodder to re-roll it up to six stars, right? To, to, to uh, you know, combine them and stuff like that. So rather than doing that, right? R rather than wasting this one, okay, let's let's say, for example, oh, I want, I hope to get max HP, ignore dodge, and a, a damage proc. That would be a, or not ignore dodge, max HP, guard break immunity, and, um, and, and a proc. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna use those four there. Because I'm on an Android, I can use the back button to skip the animation, so I can actually speed this up considerably. Oh, darn, I got a max HP, cold damage, energy shield. So that's obviously useless at this point. Rather than doing that, I would sort of want to save myself the, 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 
the struggle and the resources, and I would want to start with either Guard Break Immunity, Ignore Dodge, or Crit Damage. Ignore Dodge and Crit Damage are going to be primarily PvE-based CTP, or Obelisks, sorry, not CTPs, and you're essentially hoping to get uh, a proc, right? Uh, hopefully a 160, 180, or 200 proc, and then if you can get a secondary set that's really good, then that would be amazing. But first and foremost, I would say focus on the Guard Break, because for Spider-Man specifically, but... For almost all PvP characters and any characters you want to use as hybrids for PvE and PvP content, they need Guard Break Immunity. Even if they have Super Armor on their gear or on their passives or on skill effects or invincibility, you're still going to want the Guard Break Immunity. So that is by far the best type of Obelisk to roll up to six stars. And generally speaking, I actually, to speed this up, I also generally sell my one and two star Obelisk. So if you want a few more tips on how to really speed up this, um, this process, Again, not everybody wants to do this. Not everybody wants to sacrifice those resources. You, you know, I'm saying you want to save your obelisks, but then on the other hand, I'm selling my one and two star obelisks. Well, for me, they're not really going to add enough to the uh, combining to really make a difference here. But I believe that I rolled that one up and it was something bad. It was, I think, that dodge damage falls on the head type thing here because we don't have any other ones. The nice thing also about the uh, guard break immunity obelisks is you can tell by that little yellow circle with the shield in it. That is what you're looking for. So now it's going to default to the three star ones. This is going to make this way faster for me. I got damage falls on the head. Yeah. So any of these types of things, I just want to cover this really quickly because people still get confused. Activation rate, 10% chance, energy damage, 260%. That's not a damage proc. That is horrible, like peanut damage. Uh, it seems like it's a damage proc because it has a percentage, but it really is not. So we're gonna go through here and re-roll. We got max HP actually, funny enough. But yeah, so we didn't get anything there. I wasn't surprised. In general, you're gonna need to combine 10, 20, 30 obelisks before you get anything worthwhile. And even then you might not actually get anything, but that's why it's always important to look through the inventory of obelisks that you do have and pick out the ones that you want to keep. Like, is that one guard break? No, but see, it has guard break as a secondary stat. So this actually, funny enough, this obelisk is a microcosm. It's sort of like a mini version of what I'm hoping to get. This would be one of the best obelisks for Spider-Man that you could possibly make. Ignore dodge, guard break immunity, and a damage proc. Now, ideally, it would be, you know, the 26% ignore dodge is fine. If it was 30 or 35%, that would be better. But really, the only problem with this one is that it's a 100% increase and the cooldown is 10 seconds, and that's because it's a four-star obelisk. If it was a six-star obelisk, that 100% would hopefully would be at least 120%, hopefully higher. But then that that uh, cooldown would be seven seconds instead of 10. And that's basically what you're looking for. And you know, hopefully, you're gonna get a combination of either guard break well, with guard break immunity. You're gonna get a combination of either uh, HP and a proc, or ignore dodge and a proc. Those would be kind of like the the perfect. Uh, obelisks for Spider-Man, and I don't believe I have any of those. I have one that's poison damage with a an energy shield, which is actually terrible, but I'm just keeping the base, and I'll explain why I still have those locked. That one is sort of like my fourth place, so I explained that my top three obelisks for Spider-Man would be, you know, guard break proc, ignore dodge proc, crit damage proc. Why I didn't mention invincibility is because defense is actually not an issue for Spider-Man. With his long iframes, especially if you have this uniform, with his long iframes in PvP, his healing, his debuff immunity, he really doesn't struggle to survive. He struggles to get kills, especially when you have to fight combat characters. So you actually want to give him a proc ideally, and that will also work better in your favor because it will make him also able to do PvE content here. So this one is not bad. Guard break 200 proc with cold damage, with lightning damage. That's one's web resist. I don't want that one at all, to be honest. You can use that to reroll. That one is fear with a 180 proc. I believe I just kept that one because it has a 180 proc. But yeah, these don't have guard guard break immunity, so they're not good. And again, this one is just more of the same of what I re-rolled. So at this point, if let's just say you've combined a bunch of obelisks and you didn't really have anything good that came of it, then you really have the choice of whether you want to continue waiting, you know, accumulating more obelisks through grinding different content and try again. Or if you want to use your existing um, extreme obelisks, to re-roll some of the guard break immunity obelisk bases that you have. And the base, of course, is that orange stat at the top that doesn't change, right? No matter what I do to this obelisk, it is never going to lose that guard break. There you go. Mind resist four seconds. 
Not bad for maybe different characters, but not really going to do much for our boy Spidey. Guard break, 20% heal, immunity to stun. Again, this might seem attractive, but a 20% heal every 15 seconds is not going to save Spider-Man, and it's also not going to cover up his weakness of not having enough damage. And he already has healing, so it's not really going to do that much to him. The energy damage of energy attack is not a guard break. It's not a, a damage proc. The fire resist is actually really interesting. I rolled the maximum amount of fire resist, 50%. Wow, that's actually really funny. I didn't think about this, but you could build some sort of wacky hybrid obelisk. Some people really enjoy this kind of stuff with something like guard break immunity, fire resist, and then a damage proc. And that could help you take down some Wolverines because 50% fire resist is no joke, right? I think his base fire resist is zero. So that's gonna, you know, really increase his damage reduction. And especially against someone like Wolverine where all of his skills deal fire damage. I think there's some parts of flame zone that don't, doesn't deal fire damage and the bleed damage doesn't count as fire. But otherwise, that could actually help you tank uh, against a Wolverine, which is really funny. Fire resist, wow. Anywho, we're not gonna go ahead and keep that, but I just wanted to show you guys a couple more here. See, lightning damage, five seconds immunity, five seconds invincibility is really nice. And again, you could settle for this if you don't have a lot of rerolls to do. Freeze is terrible, poison resist is useless. But yeah, I'm hoping for an obelisk with a proc. Mind damage is useless. The energy shield and the physical shields are both useless. They're not going to do anything. There you go. So this one's pretty interesting. The dodge is kind of useless, unfortunately, because Spider-Man very easily caps his dodge. We got very close to a perfect obelisk or near perfect obelisk for Spider-Man. We got dodge and a 160 proc. The only thing you could change about this is change the dodge to either ignore dodge to make him better for PvE, better for Null, Corvus, Quicksilver, better against other Spider-Men. Or change that ignore dodge to max HP, just to make him tankier, take more damage, you know, absorb more, heal more. Uh, and then change that proc from a 160 to a 180 or a 200. So yeah, it still takes a lot to get a good obelisk. And at this point in the game, I know a lot of you are just focused on CTPs, but I thought it would be interesting and important to take a step back and say, you know, Spider-Man's good with basically every CTP. There's really no bat. Like, honestly, you could probably find a Spider-Man that gets some kills in PvP with an egg. Or a Patience. Or a Transcendence. You could probably find that, because he's just that good of a character. So rather than, you know, fuss and, and, and hoo and ha about this CTP or that CTP being good on him, I mean, I will still do that. Don't get me wrong. I still want to make flex videos with my mighty CTP of Destruction on Spider-Man. You know, completely pepa slapping different content. But on the flip side, what could you really do to make a really really good obelisk right with two or three perfect stats for spider-man and, and a build that we know is a very good hybrid build and that's basically what this comes down to what this is so i'm going to go ahead and equip this one again this is not exactly what we were looking for i would like to have you know in this case even crit damage wouldn't be bad because now as you see my crit damage drops to 150 so if that what is it uh 20 if that 26 percent dodge was 26 percent crit damage that would be great. So you could go ahead and re-roll this, this recovery rate over to crit damage. I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Instead, we're just going to jump into a couple of PvP matches here so you guys can see. We're just going to take on some of the top teams. Oh, Sentry. Hello. And, and show you that and remind you that he can still do it. And I'm pretty sure if I go back in against uh, Mephisto, he can still go ahead and crush that stage 39 uh, with an obelisk. So really, it comes down to... Obviously, the resources that you have available to you. Also, keep in mind that I was using... Op there you go. I was using obelisks to reroll obelisks. Not everyone's going to want to do that either, right? Some people are going to say that's a waste of your resources and you're better off saving those extreme obelisks to reroll CTPs. Absolutely. I agree with you there. It really just depends on how many CTPs you have and how often you can go ahead and go and reroll them. But as you can see, we're doing a fine, a mighty fine job here and we don't even have a CTP. So, sure, you can definitely give your Spider-Man a CTP. It's awesome for him, and I'm, I'm so glad that he's at the top of the meta here. But at the same time, oh, he died? I was really trying to pop the the, the Tier 3 skill. It's actually really cool to see all these Spider-Men uh, at the same time here. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to get the dub. He wasn't able to solo the entire team. We're going to have to leave that up to Logan here. But uh, maybe Logan won't be able to solo either. Interesting. Oh, Logan. There we go. He needed a little bit of help from his friends. But yeah. 
So that's the video I wanted to make for you guys today. I wanted to sort of take a step back, do a little bit of a rewind and, and sort of a, a redo of how to roll obelisks and really what stats to look for and what combinations of stats to look for uh, and really to set your expectations at a reasonable level. You know, don't try, don't kill yourself or don't, don't burn all your resources trying to get three perfect stats, right? Two perfect stats, a damage, a decent damage proc and a guard break immunity can oftentimes be more than enough to still get your character through some pretty awesome gameplay so there you have it guys hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think and in the meantime i'm going to be enjoying some stage 39 of mephisto with my 160 proc obelisk spider-man no way home thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one take care